Hi folks, in this video you will learn how to scale any object to your required size. It can be block object which you download from internet. To explain this I will begin with creating random sized rectangle for which I already picked rectangle. I will specify first corner point and second corner point somewhere here. I just created this rectangle with totally random size. I want to scale this rectangle in such a way that it its length will be 500 for which I will use the scale command. It is asking me to select object. I will select this. Then I will press enter. Now it is asking me to specify base point. I will click here. You can click it anywhere as per the drawings requirement. Now it is asking me to specify scale factor which will not fulfill our requirement because in this case we don't know the current length but we know the required length for which reference option will help us because that will fulfill our requirement. I'll select reference option in which it is asking me to specify reference length. Now reference length you should specify that length which you want to resize. In this case we want to resize rectangle's length. As we don't know the length of this rectangle we can specify by picking two points. Two points which defines the length of rectangle. This point and this point. So we just picked those two points and scale command took distance between those two points as a reference length. Now it is asking me to specify new length. Uh, our requirement is 500. So I will type 500 enter. So it got resized to 500 length. It got resized too large. So I will zoom out. I want to cross check that whether it got 500 or not. So for that I will use distance inquiry command di enter. I will pick my first point this and second point this. Here it is showing. It is 500 now. This was very simple example. In real world scenario we normally download readily available blocks from internet. Now this blocks uh, most of the time they come with some random length. It can be x y z reason. Sometimes they come too small. Sometimes they come too big. Sometimes they come close to our required length. But what is our requirement? We want to scale it to specific size. I'll show that. I'm already having folder open which contains collection of block. Normally we get it in this way only. We get a drawing like this. For example, I'll open the sofas.plan which contains collection of block. I'll keep it as simple as possible. I want this particular sofa in my drawing. I'll select this. I will use Ctrl C to copy this. I'll go to my drawing. I'll zoom out and then I will paste using Ctrl V. And there we have. Now we don't know what is the overall length of this sofa. I can check it using distance inquiry command. This first point, the second point. And it is showing length of this sofa is 1503 point something something. Now my requirement is I want overall length of this sofa to be 1200. We'll use the same scale command. I'll select this as my object for scaling. <coughs> then I will press enter. It is asking me to specify base point. I'll select this as a base point. Now it is asking me to specify scale factor. We'll not use scale factor option. We'll use reference option. Again it is asking me to specify reference length. In this case we know the length but not precisely. It is 1503 point something something. To specify it precisely we'll not remember the value. We'll again do the same thing. I'll click and specify. I'll click this point and this point which defines the current length of my sofa. And now it is asking me to specify new length. 
I'll specify 1200. Now I can say surely that this particular sofa got scaled to 1200. 1200 length. We'll do the cross check using distance inquiry command. This point and this point. See, you can read this, it is showing 1200 now. Well, I'm done with this video. I hope you understood what I just explained in this video. If you do, give a big thumbs up using like button. If you are having any questions or doubt, comment this video. I will really be happy to reply on that.